Okay, this will be an interesting one. Wondering how big we're going to make it. We're going to make it 200. We're going to make it... Ah, oh, I'm not going to make it negative positive. I was thinking we were. We're going to make this a negative, a, not a negative, we're going to make this a um, background colour to add to that. Actually, actually thinking, I think we're right. I'm just going to see what else we have to do to make this look better. So, copy density is going a bit darker. So, we'll see if we can make this look any good as a positive image with a background colour we have here. Woolworths fresh so it's a it's a um, basically a magazine a recipe magazine for those who shop at Woolies so Woolies indeed Woolies got into big trouble recently for underpaying workers which shows the greed of these massive corporations um, but you know it's very hard to avoid shopping with them because yeah, the smaller shops usually don't have as much variety and they don't, um, and they're not as cheap. Whereas these big supermarkets have all the space to put their shit. They can order in bulk from the suppliers, which means they can pass on the savings to the customer. So it's a real shame that we can't rely on the small, the little doers, because the little doers are just too expensive. Now we don't have much background colour and we still got that ugly shit there so this isn't turning out as well as I was hoping it would but basically yeah you know the the, the little doers just can't um, just can't compete which is a shame but you know even I have to bloody I, don't, I can't afford to shop too often at a convenience store you know even though it's a more personalised service or it can be So, you know, it's really difficult trying to, um, yeah, the, the little doers get outdone by the big guys. So I'm actually thinking we're going to switch that over. We're going to switch that over to the happy colour, yellow, and we're going to darken it. We're going to make this a negative image this time. But basically, yeah, the um, little doers are really, it's really difficult for little doers to compete with the big guys, the big end of town the big corporations like Woolies. So, but that's what greed does. Greed makes companies like Woolworths misbehave, you know, even though they obviously know that they've got the market, you know, and that there's no, there's no real competition against companies like Woolies. Now that's interesting. Uh, wondering what we're gonna do with this. But basically, yeah, you just can't avoid the big town, the, the big end of town. Yeah, they dominate everything, these big corporations. I'm actually thinking that the contrast, we don't want too much contrast. So we're just going to kick off the contrast. We're going to leave it in the middle. But basically, yeah, you know, we, we it's very hard to avoid using the big the big companies. You know, they that, that's how they do it. They've made it that way. They've engineered it that way. I'm pretty sure to make it hard to compete. Now we enlarged the wrong way. We didn't need to enlarge that because now we didn't get the oh, fuck whatever. Uh, stupid. This is not an easy thing to do. Um, 
wondering what we're going to do with this. If we're going to leave it like that and we're just going to slide this up to get rid of the edge and move it down. Or actually, do I move it down? I don't know. Um, but basically, yeah, you just can't compete with the big guys in the big end of town. But, you know, what can I say? The world is full of... I'm against capitalism, folks. Uh, if I could, I'd have... I'd have it destroyed. If I could, if I had a choice in my life, uh, I would single-handedly destroy capitalism because I really hate the way that it's rigged to make lots of money <laughs> and not care about um, the customer or the um, environment. So, yeah, I'm just going to. I'm just wondering if I'm going to push it up or down. So I've got to push it up a bit. But yeah, that, you've got to basically... It's not an easy world we live in, you know, the way things have become. The way money talks and it talks loud and clear and it talks bullshit. But people listen to bullshit. People often equate success with having lots of, making lots of money. So if you've made a lot of money... A lot of heaps of people think you're a success. Even though you're a greedy fucking pig who should not be making money and being irresponsible to the environment, or you should be considered a fucking failure, not a fucking success. If you're a fucking pig like the man behind Woolworths, whoever he may be, well, you're a fucking pig. You're not worthy of your fucking riches, you fuck ass. So you don't basically give these people too much rope. You know, you shouldn't. You shouldn't consider them successes unless they've done their bit to enhance the environment and to make the world a better place for humanity in general. Now I've fucking pushed it too far down. Damn it. Or up. But basically, I don't equate financial success with with success unless it's done something to, to serve the environment and mankind to make the place more livable and more inviting for everyone so that everyone can have a fair go. But that does not exist anymore. Stupid rich people, stupid Woolworths. So, and I'm still fucking fucked it up. I don't want that edge. Uh, but basically, it's, it's not easy trying to whatever you know it's it's not an easy life folks these rich people have really made life difficult for most of us they don't know anything these rich they don't know how to make the world a better place or they don't fucking care they don't give a flying fuck about us they don't give a flying fuck about anything except their own fucking profit profit for their own fucking selves and to fucking just as well Woolworths got showed up in the media for doing what what they were doing you know that finally some kind of justice has fucking prevailed and they have to pay up but they have to pay up more than what they've been allowed to pay up so you know Woolworths have got a lot to answer for just as much as most corporations have a lot to answer for so you know we don't want this piggery to prevail but it's very difficult uh trying to stop it you know trying to curtail it because there's just too much too many corporations getting away with fucking murder and people die because of capitalism people work as slaves some people you know, like people work in 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 um, gemstone mines and they don't have all the necessary safety equipment and they basically people who want uh, gemstones like for use in healing supposedly healing i don't believe in that fucking shit uh but basically they they buy they buy gems and these gems are often uh mined inhumanely using slave labor in third world countries so you got to watch what you buy folks <laughs> but just about everything's been done with slave labor even this fucking photocopier would have been 
uh, done under slave conditions of some descript. Now that looks interesting. It's not what I want. Uh, wondering, I'm going to use this as our master copy. But basically, you can't avoid this damn slave labour. You know, it's everywhere. It's everywhere in this world. You know, you can't fucking get away from it. Everything we own, like iPhones, are made in, in slave labour. iPhones, you know, technology. So you can't avoid this shit that's going on. You can't avoid it, folks. It's just not able to be... We can't stop it. We just can't stop what's happening in this world. And oh, I just hate the feeling that I've got no control over it. I can't do anything myself to help fix it. I don't have the fucking uh, power or the money to to make a difference. However much I'd fucking like to kick the fucking balls of capitalism and fucking knee them in the fucking money bags where it fucking hurts. But all I can do is just make these fucking demos and just talk about these things. Just talk about it. What can I fucking do? I want to do something, folks. I just want to fucking... Destroy the capitalist system, folks, and replace it with something less <sighs> problematic. You know, something that'll work. Something that'll give everyone a fucking fair go. A fucking fair go for everyone, not just the bloody rich and fucking <laughs> powerful. But where do we start, folks? How do we get out there? It just feels like I've got no power. And I know a lot of other people are in the same boat as I am, saying that they just want to make a difference. They want justice, just like I want justice. But there is no fucking justice in this capitalist fucking cunt world where everything is all about money. Money fucking stupidity. You know, you can't fucking... Now, this doesn't look any good. This looks shit, honestly. Um, I don't like the composition of that. Um... Wondering what we're going to do with this. This is going to be a fucking prolongated damn demo. Um, wondering if on the horizontal we're going to stretch it. So we're going to make it uh, 200 on the horizontal. But yeah, I just want to make a difference, folks. But where to start, I don't know, because I'm just so upset with the way the world is, the way it's become. It's an unfair, ruthless place where only the fittest survive and you can't and if you've not got much money you're not fit so you won't survive chances are you'll be dead you'll be be to an early grave and that's what capitalism does it kills it discriminates it discriminates against the poor and those who can't supply themselves with a with a powerful strong robust income and you end up being ostracized by the rich the rich don't like you when you're not a rich person. You don't fucking fit in their fucking clique. It's like a clique, a huge worldwide clique. This world has become like that. And if you don't belong in the clique, you're fucking out. You belong nowhere. It's like in the school. It's like at school, you know, the cliques, the stupid, selfish little cliques that you get where if you don't have the same interest or the same clothes or the same fashion or the same hairstyles, whatever stupidity, you're not allowed to join the group or the clique. So it's all clicky. And if you're not rich, you're on the outside. And no one loves you, it seems. So, you know, the rich just get richer and the poor get poorer. My mum's been saying that for decades. Long, long time she's said that. And she's one of the unfortunate ones, one of the poor ones. It's not fair on her that she has to fucking go through this. Uh, so it's amazing it hasn't driven her to an early grave yet. But, you know, let's see how we go with this. This looks quite nice. I think we've got, got it looking good. Yeah. There we have it. That doesn't look too bad, actually. I think now we can call this prolongated demo quits.